All right, man, I'm about to go ahead and talk about this Shannon Sharp situation and everybody clowning him because he got out of the truck and they said that his stance was a little sugary or gay or calling him zesty. You know, I didn't hear any of these, these comments when he was a Pro Bowl tight end and he was really good. He was a Hall of Famer, but we can go ahead and say that his second act as a TV personality and Uncle Shay, he has garnered more attention and accomplished just as much as if not more in his second career. And that means he's gotten twice as much hate too. And he's gotten the hate from black people. Well, niggas. And it just seems that people are really trying to hate on him, but also eat off of his plate because they know if I go viral talking about him, then I'm eating too. My thing is, the man was a Pro Bowl tight end, two hip replacements, and his body is battered, so he's going to walk a certain way. He's country, so he has like a, a country, um, strong dialect, and he was raised by his grandmother. So there might be some mannerisms there that might seem a little you know, you might question, but to question that man's sexuality now in his second career, and it's not a coincidence that that's happening with all the success that's happening. It's just straight up jealousy. And you're trying to eat off of his plate because you know he's having success. And you know, if you can make a mockery and clown him, then you might be able to go viral off of his success. I see all these skits and people clowning him. That motherfucker, Latin. Shannon Sharp, keep doing your thing, bro. Cause you laughing right to the bank. Let's go ahead and say, so let's say he is gay. He comes out. Who cares? The fuck you care about his sexuality for? You know what I'm saying? He got more access to women that y'all have never had access to. His bank account. If he woke up with y'all bank account, he'll probably fucking be like, I want to quit life. Y'all need like chill out. I wish y'all wish y'all had a podcast that was doing numbers. Y'all wish y'all could be a Pro Bowl tight end with three Super Bowls. So you got to clown a motherfucker? Because you ain't doing it? Broke ass. Y'all niggas kill me with this shit. But then be mad when somebody call y'all a nigga ready to motherfucking go crazy. But y'all but y'all want to clown your brother. Nah, I take that back. A white motherfucker call y'all a nigga y'all do shit. Was you you said the same motherfuckers that's clowning Shannon Sharp is the same motherfuckers that was talking all that shit when Zimmerman killed Trayvon Martin and didn't do shit. We ain't right. We ain't gonna kill. We ain't gonna try to find that motherfucker. We ain't do nothing. But the, but we'll be quick to talk about our own person, our own community. We ain't shit. Y'all niggas ain't shit. Y'all talk all this tough man shit. Want to clown motherfuckers that's doing something with their life, and y'all sitting at home. Clowning, broke as fuck. No aspirations. I mean, no drive. Just a broke nigga. Man, like what Chris Rock say, I can't stir you niggas. Make wanna join the Clip Clutch Clan.